John's Random Review. Oh, hi. Welcome back to John's Random Reviews. Bloody hell, the nights are drawing in. Bloody hell, I don't like coming back from work and it's all bloody dark and rainy. Never mind. You might be thinking, what the hell's this? Have I um, defected to Milwaukee? Well, no, the answer is no. I'm still a Makita Massive. Um, I guess I might always, I might always be Makita. I'm Makita Mass. All the power you need. But a work colleague of mine. He's um, just got this. He was on Makita, like me, like everybody at work. And he's been having a few problems with some of his um, Makita's, Makita gear. So he decided, without, tell, without asking me, I know I'm not no bloody expert, but without asking me, he went ahead and um, he didn't bloody buy these. He didn't buy this set. He booked it out through, through work and he's... He said, right, I'm gonna I'm a bit fed up with um Makita, I'm gonna try a bit of Milwaukee. So the Milwaukee, absolute rap. Absolute <laughs> This is the Milwaukee M18 fuel sort of set. We get everything out of the box and we're gonna have a look at this. It's got a combi drill, it's got a impact driver, a grinder and an SDS drill and I believe it comes with three 5 amp batteries, a charger and a bag. Now it's not very often you see me reviewing um, Milwaukee tools. Although I, I use their Makita tools, Milwaukee makes some amazing tools. Like I've said, I've said before, or I might not have said, I don't know. Anyway, I, they're pretty much one of the, the the top um, professional tool brands. Dare I say that? No, I'm not going to say it. Shall I say it? Uh, <laughs> they could be better than Makita. The technology that goes into the machine and how forward thinking the Milwaukee are. Um, but I don't use them. So I don't use Milwaukee. I don't know on the long term. Um, whether they're going to be better than Makita, last longer, not sure. This isn't about that. Like I said, I'm going to maybe come back in six months and um, go to and borrow these again and see what condition these tools are in six months. Bear in mind, the builders at work can be a bit rough and they, they have a tendency to, to kind of really hammer these the tools they have. And um, yeah, we'll see in six months. Well, this is the initial sort of um, look at this Milwaukee set. Now I think what I've gone, what I've um, today, what the builder have told me is this set. It's about six hundred quid online. You can get sometimes. I'll see. I'll see a set like this for seven hundred quid, and I think the cheapest I've seen one is six thirty, and that's it. I think that's including VAT. There's loads of different combination of these sets. Right, this is the bag. This is the Milwaukee bag. As, as I've probably said before, I fucking hate these bags. I think they're crap. Anyway, it has got a solid bottom underneath there. I don't know what that zip's doing in the bottom. But, yeah, it's got um, handles like that. And um, it's got a strap that you can put over your shoulder. Bloody hell, you'd be going to the chiropractor if you had all them tools in that bag. So let's get them all piled in the bag and see, what, and see how heavy it is. Right, all the tools are back in the bag. Bloody hell, it looks like a gym bag, do not it, gym? So let's see how heavy it is. It's not, too, not, it's actually not too bad. You could probably get a couple more tools in there, but you know what my thing is about bags anyway. It's a decent bag if you're into bags. Nearly missed a bit. It's actually got wheels. Wheels, like rollerblade wheels on the bottom. And it's got some skid plates. That's quite good, actually. But um, I don't know how you get on dragging this because it hasn't got the like um, a suitcase one where you drag the handle up. It isn't nothing like that. So um, yeah, you probably get a bad back dragging it along. There we go. Anyway, right, everything's out of the bag. 
And I'll show I'll put I'll show you the bag in a minute. I, d I don't like them tool bags. You know I don't. Anyway, that's another story. So we've got the impact driver and the grinder, the combi drill, and the SDS drill. I've got um, one of the batteries on charge there. Don't ask me about that one up there. That's an, that's another story. So first impressions. First impression. Honestly, when when I um. Open the box. I was ready to be dazzled, to be dazzled because Milwaukee's top end stuff, or um, I thought it was. Um, so when I got it all all out of the plastic bags and there was a bit of cardboard packaging, I was a little bit. When I started kind of looking at each tool individually, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. Wow, it's good. It's good, but some of the design elements. Um, I. It's only. We're just talking here, just me and you talking. If you're a Milwaukee um, fan and you're start going fucking red already, um, red in the face, I mean, you might, <laughs> I'd fucking turn off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Anyway, back to this. So we're going to go, I'm going to go through each tool just to say the pros and the cons. Obviously, this isn't a test video. Um, we're going to come to that, come to that another time. But first thing we're going to look at is the impact drill so let's just get the numbers out of the way m18 fid fids fid2 this is the impact driver and i've done a little bit of research about this this seems to be their sort of top end impact driver it's very short very very short let's get the old ruler out what is it we'll take the bit out first Oh, before we go any further, the when you push the bits in there, on my Makita, when you put it in like that, you've got to pull the, the collet back to get them in. Not this one. You just push it out. And then it's locked, but then you have to pull the collet forward to get that off. So that's pretty good. Anyway, we were going to measure it, weren't we? Um, oh, what's that? Four and a half inches. That's bloody short. Really, really short. That chill, thinking, thinking about it, the battery sticks out a little bit further than the tool. Oh, it's, oh, it's just the same. Just the same. Right. I like the fact that it's got um, three speeds in there. See that? Hang on. So it's got... Um, we'll go back to number one. That's kind of a slow hammer. <laughs> number two and number three, obviously. And this function here... I've tried to test it a little bit, but apparently it's for putting in when you when you want to put in self tapping screws, and then once they've gone through the metal, you don't want them to kind of bottom out and then rip rip all the threads off. Apparently, if you put it on this, it'll do that. It'll put that actual self tapper in, but it won't make it strip out. So that's that, that's actually a nice little feature. Quite like the rubber over molding in this bit. That's it's kind of a little bit sticky. That's nice. That's really nice. The trigger's nice. Trigger's in a nice position. Everything's good. Everything's good so far. Right, the top. I've got a... I know I'm being... You know me. I'm being finick, finickety. Is that a word? I'm being finickety about this. But and some people would say, oh, look at the clean clean lines here. And you know what I mean? It all looks like... Kind of looks like a hilti a little bit. Um, and people... Some people go, oh, I don't like all the rubber over moulding on everything. Well, yeah, I get that. But the rubber overmolding on tools is to, in this area for grip, in other in other areas, if the, it's the case, the drill or whatever tool you're using gets dropped, and it stops it getting damaged. So we can see a little bit of um, rubber overmolding on the back there, and like a tiny, a tiny little bit of token um, overmolding there on both sides. Now this bit, if I was, yeah, it's aluminium there. That's fine, but if it drops over, you can see that if it drops over and hits there, that's not too bad. It's going to hit the aluminium, but it's going to get scuffed up really easily. And it, I don't think they've put enough thought into the actual protection. Maybe not about. We're not talking about actually getting destroyed. We're talking about getting lots and lots of dints all over it. And, possibly damaging it over time not in one drop but in no time i imagine that this tool would get um it'd look like a piece of shit really it would be um all really badly scuffed 
where if there was a if they'd put a bit of um rubber over molding there on that little bit there um it would be a lot better but am i being a bit finickety about that i don't know what's this little bit oh no that's the that's the bumper bit that's the one on the on makita tools that's the one that's fluorescent sort of thing so five amp battery this, this set comes with three five amp batteries i'm not sure whether these are like i said i don't know that much about milwaukee really i don't know if these are the top batteries i think you can get more, um some with more higher amps i'll have to i'll have to look into that but five amp batteries they're pretty decent and makita make note um take note of this take note of this um look the batteries have got a rubber over molding and like i said like i didn't like the over, lack of over molding there i love it when the, the a manufacturer puts over molding on the batteries because they can get dropped just um if they're not in the tools but if you're in the tools and it gets dropped rubber over molding on batteries makita Makita, are you listening? Makita, are you listening? No, well, they're not. They're not. I've, fall, I've fallen out with Makita UK. Anyway, that's a different story. So, we'll put them to one side. I'm going to put them on over there. And we'll have a look at the grinder. So, the grinder model number is... Can we see that? M18 F, FSAG... 115x bloody hell that's a bit of a bloody mouthful isn't it there so let's stick a battery on it for starters tell you what with this angle like that it kind of reminds me of um my makita xgt grinder that has a back end like that um i don't maybe it's about balance i'm not exactly sure why why it's oriented like that but obviously you can't you can't <laughs> yeah obviously you can't stand it up if you were going to leave it running or something, or for whatever reason, you should never do that. But it's got a little bit of a flat bit there. And that, that would sit down. Even if you if you, if you weren't using it and you wanted to keep it in quite good order rather than rest it on here and the, the blade could get damaged. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good... A tiny, tiny little bit of good thing. More um, pretty decent rubber over moulding where your, your, hand, your hand goes. And it's got a removable dust guard at the back there. And for some weird reason, don't know why, they give you two. So, I presume that's the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So you've got two dust protectors. So that's pretty cool. Right, this is the 18 volt combi drill. Serial number M18FPD2. So this has got... Um, normal drilling there. It's actually got a hammer, 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 just percussion, and then it's got the all the all the torque settings for screwdriving in. It's got a metal chuck. That's good. One thing I don't like is um, this end bit here. I like to see that free and spinning because it if when it's it, I like to see a like a nice little chrome end. I like that to be chrome and spinning. So if it catches on something, it doesn't look knackered. You can imagine that would get all the paint come off of that in no time. Oh, it's got a lovely little red ring there. Look at that. Overall impression, um, it's good. It's, yeah, same again. The rubber over moulding is really sticky. It's like a bloody wetsuit. Anyway, so that's all right. I bet it's got plenty of grunt. And I'm not going to go into the figures, but it will do. Oh, it didn't stop straight away then. Anyway, don't worry about that. Um... It's got a speed control on the top. It's quite... <laughs> well, uh, it seems a bit... It's like a bloody... It, that, that doesn't feel full of confidence, that speed control. It's quite tight and it feels a bit cheap. Now, look at this. This, um, where, where the ring, the um, adjuster ring for the torque setting is, that's, yeah, that's bound to plastic. It's aluminium here and it's plastic there. But going back to what I said about the rubber over moulding and these tools getting dropped. Look at this. Look at this. You can imagine if it drops upside down. First thing it is, look at that. Look at what, what had happened. It would hit the speed control button first. That is, what? That is crap. That is proper crap. If you imagine if it dropped upside down like that onto concrete, I think it would just snap that fucker off. In a way, that's just, yeah. And then other various bits of the clamshell here. 
Then again, I think there should be some more rubber over moulding, maybe over these bits. So it get when these tools get bumped and bruised at, wo at work, straight away they don't look absolutely knackered. Or they don't get knackered. They're not going to smash to pieces after... You could drop these to probably 10 foot. But they soon get messed up. And, I, well, is, is it just me? I, I like to look after my tools. And, and I like, even after a year or so, I like the idea of them not looking like absolute rubbish. But anyway, so there's the combi drill. Just a quick, a quick overview of it. It's got a... Oh, obviously it's got the light at the bottom. Um, yeah, same again. Quite short, quite well balanced and quite light. So that's his good point. I'm not, not slagging it off that much. Right, last of the bunch is the SDS. So the model number of this bad boy is M18FH. Bloody hell. I tell, you, I tell you what, it's bloody heavy. It really is heavy. You can use it one-handed, I suppose, but over a long period, bloody hell. Yeah, so first thing of note, it's heavy. It looks bloody strange. Strange thing, I, I don't know. It looks kind of old-fashioned. I don't know, ask me how, why, I, I just think it does. But obviously the motor part, the bushless motor's down here and it goes onto the drive bit there. Well, this is good. It's got a bit of anti-vibration technology. Can you see it move a little bit there? That's to stop you getting vibration through your hands. More great um, rubber over moulding on the back there. So when you have the, the, well, it's actually quite, it's heavy, but with two hands, it's absolutely fine. So that's in the hammer mode. And when you um, have it in the hammer mode, I think you can spin, if you have like a spade bit, in it, like a spade hammer bit, you can actually spin it and then lock it in where you want it. And um, that's um, hammer drilling mode. And that's just drilling mode. I think you can get an, tell you what, Another thing, Christ Almighty, I don't, I don't like that switch. That switch is cheap. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not, I wish you could just like feel it, but it just feels really, really thin and cheap and crap like that. Oh dear. Anyway, anyway. So, and another thing, again, again with the rubber over molding. It serves a purpose. It stops your tools getting too damaged. Look at this. That's all plastic. It doesn't particularly look very, very good plastic. It probably, it, it'll be reinforced um, sort of nylon or whatever it is. It's got, it'll have loads of glass fibre in it, but it doesn't fill you full of confidence. You should have put some bumpers on here. So you can imagine this bit here, with it being plastic, it could get cracked or really, really badly scraped. Ah, it looks a bit cheap. Probably works okay. I'll find out and maybe do a few a video in a few months' time um, and ask the builder what they thought of these these new tools I've got. So we'll get them all spaced out and we'll do like a in summary thing. You know, like what they do. In summary, you can get this Milwaukee set for about 600, 650 quid. That comes with three five amp batteries. And honestly, I think it's a good deal. Now this gear here is not the latest models, I don't think. And I'm not sure the batteries are the latest one. But like I said, I don't know that much about a Milwaukee. But do, do I think they're good? Yeah, it's very good. It's very, very good. But Don't waste some a single second. Like and subscribe to John's it random feels, reviews for all cheap. the very best now, the horror, Makita the reviews and right. content. Stuff Let's like, get involved. Oh, like that grey bit there, that grey plastic bit there. That it's oh, And that switch there. Bloody hell, and the switch, Toy Town, Toy Town, I was, I was really, really wanted to be singing Milwaukee's praises, I really did, honestly, because they are fantastic um, tool company, but it's a bit, it's a bit cheap looking, but it doesn't matter if, if it performs, uh, and that will be absolutely fine for the builder, I'm, it's not my stuff, we're going to get this all packaged up, um, back to the builder, well this has been a bit of a waffle on sort of thing, um, but there we go. Milwaukee, kind of, you no, know, it's not bad, but it's kind of somewhere in the middle. I'll think I'll tell you what, muckers, I'll stick with my um, Makita stuff. Forget about this. Okay, thanks for watching. Random is rad. Rock on. I'm Makita Man.